Odette 7. We reach the airbase and may park the car in the parking lot. We then went to the offices to sign the papers. Several hours later, we went back. The drive back was exhausting, but May and I talk all the way. When we reached Cape Mimoni, it was already night. Thank you. I told May when we were close to where I lived. It's a nice area, I never mentioned it. It, eerie, uh, it is really nice. I have to come here sometimes. I haven't been in this part of the city for a long time. Oh, you can stop here now. I had to interrupt May. Oh, alright. Thank you. As I said, uh, I said as I opened the door. Have a nice weekend. You too. See you on Monday. See you. And with that, May drove away. I look at my watch. It was very late already. <clears throat> 130 for 30 days to our fall. I woke up and a strange sensation overwhelmed my body. I tried to stand up but I remained on the side of the bed, sitting. My skin felt strangely rough and sensitive. I knew this feeling. Weakness. Pain. Fever. To buy potatoes, bread, cheese, milk, broccoli, onions, oranges, pineapple, biscuits, chocolate. I reached the store at last. Slowing down and standing in line at the store, I felt that my fever had gotten even worse. I therefore bought a bit more food in case I had to stay home not only today and tomorrow, but also on Monday. With my groceries in my backpack, I left the store. I going home I felt the heat and cold taking turns, I was hot one minute and cold the next one. And I was sweating, the heavy backpack waving me down. I felt a bit dizzy at times, but I kept on walking. As I was walking, trying to fight the weakness, my thoughts. The walk was very tiring. I just wanted to make some tea and go to bed, probably to sleep. Perhaps in the evening I would be better and I would be able to do something with my collection. Delete it! I returned home, beaten. And I didn't have the power to do anything else than just go to bed. I woke up at 6 in the evening. I have slept the whole day, almost. I have lost the whole day, just sleeping. Feeling a bit bit better, but I... Evelyn. I wanted to go to sleep, but I couldn't. All the images. I have to fall asleep. Uh, take a sleeping pill, keep my thoughts going until I fade. Well, <laughs> I'm not a fan of sleeping pill or, well, things like that. So I go with that, and that was a bad choice, I guess. Okay, does it ever end? Will you fall asleep or... Oh, I actually have to take a sleeping pill. I felt my thoughts getting blurry. And my mind was finally slowly drifting away. 
120 days to our raffle. Would you mind if I give this one to you? If you could get the samples to analyze, write the reports, and so the usual. May asked me. It was Tuesday. I had stayed home on Monday. Uh, I should go. May said with an apology in her voice. See you around. I said. Yeah, see you. May made a sample gesture with her hand, saying goodbye. I was already leaving when. Oh, did you get home all right on Friday? I asked quickly, not really knowing why. I, I I did, there was not a lot of traffic. I suppose that was logical, because it had been Friday night. That's good. I replied without really thinking. I look at May, nodding slightly to tell her I'm glad. Bye. May said quietly after a small pause. Bye. I replied. And then I left May's office. One hundred and nine days to our raffle. A glass old home. <gasps> Thank you for coming. A glass said as she came out of the room. Her mother was asleep, but she insisted that I stay and talk with Aglaida. I'll take this. I said, taking the dishes from which we'd eaten cake. The birthday celebration Aglaida prepared for her mother had been really nice. We went through the old photo albums and recalled memories from when we were children. A glass mother was always very kind to me. Oh, Adrian, there is. Aglaia interrupt, interrupt, interrupted me. It should be, I guess. I put down the dishes. She took my hand like she always did when we were here as children. For when you get home, Aglaia said, handing me a notebook. Immediately I knew what was inside because this, too, we'd done a long time ago. I accepted it. Silently, it was a short story that Aglaia had written. When I came out, it was a little past midnight. Aglaia, she was so pretty, so radiant, I... And she'd given me the story. She had not written in a long time. Aglaia. Aglaia, Aglaia, I don't really know, I never seen a name like that, to be honest. 98 days to our raffle. There are the anomalies, they are quite unusual, look. Subject of discussion, the weekly evaluation of data sent to the environmental department by its SCAD facility. Image composite view of ISFR 38,000 to 45,000. High oxygen O4 concentration. High oxygen concentration. Occasional small chemical chain reactions. Image. Uh, the same but different height. Increasing frequent small chemical chain reactions. Argon microcloud. After we studied the images, May and I decided to prepare a report for the division head. We went out of the conference room back to our offices, and just as our ways were about to part. Oh, so, how did you defrosting go? I asked May one last question. She told me she wanted to defrost her fridge. There was too much ice in the cooler already. Oh, it went well. I will put back my things today when I get back from work. Mai told me how she had asked her neighbor for help. For the time being, when she defrosted, she placed her food in the neighbor, her neighbor's fridge. And now she wants to defrost too. She, so we agreed to do it today now. I will have her food for that time. See you, Adrian. Oh, will you be wanting to go outside to buy something for lunch? I think like going out for lunch and you always go, so... Oh, I'd be happy to just stop by whenever we want to go then. I will thank you. See you then. Yes, see you.
What will you be getting? May asked me when I browsed through the things they had. Nenot convenience store. The shop wasn't big and the choice was quite limited. Well, I would take that sandwich probably. And then this. I took a strawberry yogurt. <sighs> I said and I quickly saw that she didn't quite know what to pick. She looked at all the things, almost like she was under some pressure to choose something. Would you like to go somewhere else? There is another store at the next intersection. I suggested. No, this is fine. I just... I would choose something, but... I took a cheese sandwich and mineral water. I smiled, happy that we have what we came for and we made our way to the cash counter. And there, May stopped for the second, looking at the display. A split second of hesitation and she took a bag of gummy bears. She turned to me. Do you like them? Gummy bears? Yeah, do you like them? I can always have some, yes. May smiled and we paid. Hmm. She said with a question in her voice, offering me the sweets. Armory Park. Oh, is it better to eat those after the sandwiches? Oh, of, of course, of course it is. May smiled and tried to close the package by curling up the plastic. May, wait. I saw how she was trying to close it. Here. I took the gummy bears from her because she tried to open the wrapped sandwich. But she had too many things in her hands and had almost dropped the gummy bears. Oh, thank you. Let me just... She opened the sandwich. Then she took back her gummy bears. Gummy bears. Since I had only two items, I could unwrap her sandwich easily. We talked a little more and then made our way back to the ED building. All right now. She offered me some of the gummy bears again. Yeah, I like some now. And with that, I look, took a handful of gummy bears from her bag. I will let you know when the draft is complete. I said and we parted for the day. Just go on the date again! The day went by and when I came home my stomach felt a bit upset. I knew it was from May's gummy bears. Heh! <laughs> what? Seventy-five days to our raffle. Thank you so much for doing this. My, so the red color is now for her. Thank you so much for doing this, May said as we were leaving work very late today. That day, sent to 7.12 p.m. I'd offered to go to two apartment viewings with her this evening. I was trying to find a new apartment for herself. Oh, there is a detour. Should I go this way? Yeah, I think then you can turn left from the street and reach the canal. I said, we are trying to avoid going through the detour because of traffic. When we reached the canal, the traffic cleared. Soon we would arrive. There is a spot. I said and seeing it may park in the free space. It should be number 75. This is 71 and there is 73. It's that way. Apartment 1, Helena Drive 75, third floor 74. Three square meters, oh, square meters. Kitchen combined with living room, one bedroom, one study. I will call them so they know we are here. May said, and soon we were able to come in and took a look at the apartment. So, did you like it? She asked, and we started to talk about the apartment. The next one should be this way, number 14. May said going in the direction she had drawn on a piece of paper. 
That's number 10. This is the one. Apartment 2, stage road 14, second floor, 65 square meters, one kitchen, one living room, one bedroom. I will call them now. And with that, we took a look at the second apartment.